Hey there. Welcome to Power Process Electrical Engineering Tech. Today I will explain PLC sequential function charts language. First, make sure you subscribe me and like the video. PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, Sequential Function Charts, SFC, is a graphical programming language used for designing and representing sequential control systems. SFC is particularly useful for describing the behavior of complex processes and sequential operations in industrial automation. Here's an overview of PLC sequential function charts. Elements of SFC. Steps represent individual actions or operations within the control system. Transitions define the conditions for moving from one step to another. Branches allow for alternative paths or decision making within the control system. Connectors establish connections between steps, transitions, and branches. Initial step specifies the starting point of the SFC. Final step marks the end or completion of the SFC. Structure and execution. SFC is organized in a hierarchical structure with multiple levels of charts or subcharts. Each level consists of steps, transitions, branches, and connectors. Execution follows a defined sequence, starting from the initial step and progressing through the chart based on the conditions specified by transitions and branches. The current state of the system is tracked, and the control flow moves from one step to another based on the specified conditions. Graphical representation. Sequential function charts are represented using interconnected graphical elements. Steps are depicted as rectangular boxes, with each step representing an individual action or operation. Transitions are represented as arrows, connecting steps and defining the conditions for transitioning from one step to another. Branches are depicted as diamond-shaped decision points, allowing for conditional paths within the control system. Connectors are used to establish connections between steps, transitions, and branches, ensuring the flow of control. Program Execution SFCs are executed cyclically in a PLC, often synchronized with the system scan cycle. The PLC evaluates the conditions specified by transitions and branches to determine the next step or path. The program execution can be controlled based on time delays, input conditions, or other triggering events. SFCs can incorporate other programming languages such as Ladder Diagram, LD, or Structured Text, SD, to perform specific actions or calculations within steps. SFCs provide a visual representation of the control flow and make it easier to design and understand complex sequential operations. They are commonly used in industries such as manufacturing, process control, and automation to model and control complex systems with multiple states and operations. Thanks for watching.